Look at our not new car. So we are going to get the car. Um, we got an awesome deal on it. It looks great. It's so new compared to what we have. We really, really like it. What do you think? It's really nice. It is. I mean, it has a backup camera. That's, that's pretty fancy for us. That's pretty fancy for us. So this week has been a crazy one. Crazy. Tuesday we went and test drove a Subaru Outback. It's a used one, it's a 2011, so still nine years old. Uh, but it was kind of our second tier of used cars. And so our grand scheme is that we got in at our first <laughs> tier of used car at about $5,000. That's how we got our adventure Prius. Mm -hmm. And then the goal was always to drive that for a year or two while we're saving up money. We're trying to save about a $5,000, sell the Prius for about $5,000 or a little less, and then upgrade to that second upgrade. tier. And so we didn't really have it on our radar um, until we started doing some camping out Ooh. in these national forests. And Megan was the one who mentioned it. It was my idea. She's like, man, I wish I had something cooler that we could go off road in, a little higher clearance, uh, maybe a little bigger to camp in the back of. But get this, it is never my idea to do an upgrade. I never think about something to spend money on and then actually do it. That's totally something I learned from Ryan. Yes, so... So it's my first time being like Ryan. Yeah, so it was, <laughs> it was really surprising because Megan mentioned it. She was like, hey, what if we... What if we get that, you know, second tier used vehicle and let's get something that we can go um, on more of these BLM lands, national forests, kind of the rougher roads, um, places where our Prius, which has such a low ground clearance um, and not all wheel drive or four wheel drive, just can't get to mm -hmm. um, for some camping at some amazing sites that are out there. Yeah. And so I was like, well, that sounds like a great idea. That's so smart. So <laughs> we really didn't think that it would happen quick. And so we just kind of started looking on where we usually do Facebook marketplace. And, um, but one day when I was driving home from finishing home health, I saw on the side of the road, an old Subaru Outback for sale. And I happened to stop by, had low miles, was in our price range, was kind of at that second tier, not super new, but not super old like our Prius. And so we test drove that Tuesday and we got done driving that and we were like, this is awesome. This is it. <laughs> it was spectacular. I mean, the air conditioner worked perfect. There was no road noise. There was a backup camera. There was a backup camera. Fancy. Leather. Yeah, leather seats. Seat warmers. Seat warmers. That's a rarity. And and then also had the features that we wanted. All-wheel drive, you know, higher um, ground clearance, and we even took it on some gravel roads and some more potholy roads, and it did great. A roof rack. And it Why has a roof rack. Why is that important, Ryan? Hit him. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to ruin the surprise. This is also why this week has been so crazy. Today, I just confirmed the purchase of a new toy that goes with our Subaru. On the roof rack. What could it be? And we're picking that up Sunday, which we will totally video, and you guys will have to wait to see it. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Oh. Oh, they grow up so fast. <laughs> but you just gotta let them fly. Just gotta let them fly. <laughs> okay. I just dropped Megan off work and today we are also picking up the Subaru and making all the final payment and stuff on that. But the seller who's selling the Subaru wants a cashier's check. And so that means I have to go to our bank. And the bank that we use, the closest branch is actually in Missoula, Montana, which is an hour and a half away. 
Then I'll come back here, hopefully Megan will be done with work, and we can go pick up the Subaru, which is being sold in a little town right next to ours. So what's crazy is that me and Megan are about to go buy this Subaru Outback, and we just found out that Megan's younger brother bought a Subaru Outback yesterday, and then also her younger brother and sister-in-law are looking to buy a new car today, and her mom is turning in a lease and then looking to get a new car possibly this weekend. And so this was, oh, and her uncle just bought a new Jeep Gladiator. And this was all like not planned. We weren't all, this wasn't just like a family get together. Let's all buy new cars or used cars or however you want to put it. All get new vehicles to us. This was just like, oh, you bought a car? Oh, you bought a car? So crazy that... All of a sudden this weekend, just the whole family was just getting fashioned with new wheels. I'm waiting to get some calls from my side of the family to see who bought a new car. <laughs> Crazy. But before I go, and since Megan isn't here, I might have to get a road sody. Sorry, Megan. Ah, uh, yeah. Now it's a road trip. Always get to have a road sody for a road trip. Ah. Well, let's hit some mountain roads back to Plains. Woo! Hi. Hello. Thanks for picking me up, stranger. You did it! Right? It's exciting. We're about to go get our Subaru. Can't wait! Yeah, I'm so excited. It feels like luxury compared to a 26 year old RV that you live in and how old is this thing? 15 year old car? Yeah, it's awesome. Way to do the work up front. Get our money. Um, more driving. Woo! It's over there. Behind that Jeep. Well, hello there. Well, hello. What you doing? I'm just sitting in my Subaru, just enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that? It's air conditioning. Not that our Prius didn't have air conditioning, <laughs> <laughs> but still. How did it drive? Quiet. <laughs> How did the Prius drive? Same as usual. So we officially are the owners of a 2011 Subaru Outback. And hey. we are so excited. It took a little bit for some of the paperwork, but we handed the money over and now we have a paid off Subaru. Now it's time to go celebrate with food. Yeah, so we're gonna stop here in Thompson Falls at Big Eddie's. Apparently they have great food and drinks. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna it, let... You smell that? That's a new car smell. That new used car smell. That new used car smell. I think they put a Glade air freshener in the vents. Ah, yes. It's awesome. It's not perfect. It's not brand new, but I mean, it it definitely feels nice and luxurious. Yeah, we're very thankful for it. It ended up having 96,000 miles on it. Our goal was to be under 100,000, and so great, plenty of miles left to go yeah. on this great vehicle. And we still have to pick up our second major purchase tomorrow for the Subaru. We're so excited to show you guys that. And it's not white. It's not white. The first vehicle we've ever owned that's not white. Other than Big Betty, which she's kind of like a cream color. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's get, get some, some food.
and off the river. Um, they have this back deck where we're getting a nice breeze off the river, have beautiful views. Then down below us, they also have additional kind of picnic seating. And um, I'm sure in a non-COVID summertime, there's people out there hanging out, you know, throwing cornhole. And of course they serve delicious beer here, which is always makes parties on the back deck way better. Megan's still deciding on what she wants to eat. There's a lot of, there's a lot of yummy choices. There's so many options. I've decided on a cheeseburger. We'll see how it, see how it fares. There's a lot of places with some good cheeseburgers around here. This is a good burger. I just got their classic cheeseburger. And um, it's a 10, 10 out of 10. But we're very stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> We're very full. That was really good. The nicest part, I think, was the view and the patio and just being able to sit out there and relax. It's a nice atmosphere. And they have some good, like, pub food, kind of like Bavarian. Yeah, burgers, a lot of different cheeses on a fries. Lot of cheese. um, <laughs> I feel I like they cheese. had pretzel bites, they had quesadillas, all kinds of stuff. You had some uh, fancy hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh, but really good overall. I, th I had their cheeseburger. It was delicious. And so. Yeah. Definitely come out and check it out in Thompson Falls, Montana. Now, let us show you the new Subaru. And different parts that we like about it. So, some of the reasons why we chose this Subaru Outback. And some of the features that we were looking for. And what we really like and what we got in this Subaru is that we love the hatchback feature of our little Prius because um, we, we have the option of sleeping in it. And so we got that with the Subaru. So it has a roomy hatchback. And what we can do is we can actually fold down those seats and that gives us a lot more leg room to do any type of camping and sleeping inside the Subaru when it's too cold to sleep in like a tent. Uh, but we love the hatchback design because then we can actually load stuff up in here uh, whether we're working on projects or camping gear or or really anything and so we really love that about the subaru the other thing we like is that this outback is a 3.6 meaning that it's a six cylinder engine so it gives us a little bit more horsepower um, as we're going to be hauling some stuff in it and going up through different mountain passes and so Gives us a little bit more horsepower, a little more oomph than our Prius did. Another thing is that we wanted a vehicle with a hitch already installed. And so we have that here. And the reason why, because eventually we want to get a bike rack that actually hooks into the hitch and is just a little bit more sturdy on the back of the car. Plus the Outback has all-wheel drive, which comes standard in them, which will help with a little bit more off-road driving to some of those glorious camp spots that we want to get to. Another cool feature on the Outbacks is the roof racks. And so uh, that was another thing we were looking for. We were looking for a vehicle with a roof rack um, to put some special stuff up on top. And um, what's cool about the Outback one is that it actually has a design where they can swivel into crossbars. And if you're not using it, swivel back into more vertical bars. Um, just give you a little bit more aerodynamic and better gas mileage. Another thing is that we really wanted a vehicle with, with better ground clearance. So our Prius maybe gives us like this much ground clearance. So we had to be really careful on rough roads. Um, and there's a lot of rough roads to get back to some of these cool camping spots. And so we wanted something a little bit higher, like an SUV. And what the Outback kind of gives us is that, that ground clearance that you see in an SUV, but yet still kind of drives like a car, which we wanted because it's going to be also a daily commuter. One of the really cool features we like about the inside of the Subaru is that it has a backup camera, which is kind of like a given now with new cars, but um, it's new to us and it's awesome. So when we put our car into reverse, we have this backup camera that pops up in the rear view mirror. So it's perfect. The leather seats in the Subaru is also an upgrade for us. Um, 
they're just going to be nicer to clean, especially with all of the traveling that we're going to be doing. It's going to be perfect for cleaning out dirt and sand with camping. And this has a sunroof. house there's controls for our garage doors up on the rear view mirror there's butt warmers woo <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're really excited well that is it for us today and I guess we will see you tomorrow for another adventure when we go pick up the special item woot, woot. stay tuned see you tomorrow look what we're in our first road trip in the Subaru to go pick up the surprise item. And ironically, it's in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho that we have to go pick it up at. And if you've been watching our channel, our last video, we actually spend a whole weekend in Coeur d'Alene. And it's a great town. We're actually kind of excited to go back. We might actually do some extra hiking once we've picked up the special item. Mm -hmm. So first trip in the Subaru, we're already excited and we're just sitting in the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hit the road. Do you want road? Uh, do you want road sodies? I got my road water. Hmm. Are you gonna get a road sodie? Stay tuned. <laughs> sound is so much better. I can listen to music and like actually hear everything. It's gonna be awesome. Look at this. It has an extender. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this, that's probably the best thing about this car. Right there. Right there. If you don't have that, go set your car on fire. Get you a new one. As we're riding, we keep getting excited about different things that this car has. Like, not to poo-poo the Prius, but it was just a little car. It was our first car and it did great. But, I mean, in the Subaru, the doors stay open when you open them and they don't just close on you. The windows are tinted, which is just so cool for like camping. If we needed to sleep in here, they're tinted. <sighs> Everything is just so nice. I got so excited. <laughs> Throwback to the six CDs. We actually already loaded, well, I already loaded my six favorite CDs in because there's something nostalgic about just going through a whole record instead of hopping around on a playlist. So that's been really fun. <laughs> Come back. Oh my gosh, you guys. This car has Bluetooth. <laughs> what? You should have seen Ryan just clicked a button on the steering wheel and the car started talking to us and it said Bluetooth and I was like Whoa. Well guys, we got it. The surprise. It's right behind us. Yeah, can they see it? We'll step out of the way. Oh. <laughs> so as soon as we knew that we were interested in getting kind of an off-road vehicle um, like a Subaru, we also thought, man, it'd be awesome to have a rooftop tent. So we started looking into those and um actually the market was 
the, the supply of them on the market was actually pretty low and so we were looking at websites and they were on back order and there was special shipping stuff. So we went to our favorite place, Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> and we actually found this one, ironically in Coeur d'Alene, which we had just left earlier last week. Mm -hmm. And so now we're back in Coeur d'Alene and we now have a new rooftop, rooftop tent. tent. Yay! We're super excited and we're excited to show you guys how it works because it's really cool. Yeah, I bet you guys guessed the surprise because it was pretty obvious if it's going on the roof, but we're really, really excited. We're really hoping this will enable us to get to more of the national parks that are really close to us and all of the national forest camping spots that are close a lot quicker and easier as opposed to tent camping on the ground or in our RV. Yeah, and we definitely could have done some tent camping on the ground, but when you guys see how quick of a setup and teardown this is, you'll be one one yourself. Yeah, you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> so check out this. With each rooftop tent, what they come with is like about a two and a half inch mat. And so you automatically have what you can sleep on in here. You just throw your sleeping bags up here in a pillow. It's going to be great. Some night skylight. We have the, the uh, rain fly on it, but you can take it off and then be able to look up at the stars. And it folded open maybe like five minutes and then maybe took another five minutes to get all the little poles for the awnings up, but you don't necessarily have to have the awnings up. Very nice and simple. I'm so excited to actually camp somewhere and not in the driveway. I like that it's really easy to set up and I'm not sleeping on the ground, which is awesome. This like mattress thing is really squishy. It's like a Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> it's nice. Time to pack up camp. And then once we get home, we will open it up for you guys. And we're really excited to try it out. Oh, to get in there? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna sleep in there tonight. <laughs> no, we're not. We have to work tomorrow. <laughs> we're sleeping in there. <laughs>